So the next bit we're going to look at is the files tab and in particular the student work folder. So if I go into the student work folder you'll see that every student has their own folder. The teacher can see everybody's but the student can only see their own. So I can go into Susan Abbott's folder and she can create work in here, she can create brand new documents, she can drag and drop documents in here and she can work on them and the teacher can see them as well. Um, and the reason for that is if you've got some long term work that you're working on throughout this academic year, maybe it's coursework or classwork or homework, you can put the work in here and you can come in and you can um, review it, you can give them some feedback, you can have that constant toing and froing between the teacher and the student throughout that academic year. In fact, from the class dashboard, you can go straight into that student work folder or I can even click on an individual student, click on their work folder here open it straight in either SharePoint or Teams. I'll click on Teams. That will open up the right team, go to the Files tab, Student Work folder and straight in Susan's folder. So the idea is to make it as easy as possible for staff and students to find their resources. Now, you might see some recommendations on the internet for creating your OneDrive and sharing it out with your teacher. But for, to get 30 students to do that in a class and the teacher to remember where all those links are, it's really complicated. So this keeps everything within the context of the class.